Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast, Body Game and 100 Octane Women. Body Game and 100 Octane Women. And so real quick, shout out to uh, Master Teacher BGS for the originator of the Octane model, right? And for those familiar with it, you know, the 100 Octane, those, those women who go for ballers, those uh, masters of the universe type, because you know what? They fine as hell. Now, notice I've said, too, you know, you can get those beautiful women without being rich. But let's just be real with it. Those rich guys, shoot, they can still get those women just off of it. Because when you talk about those 100 octane women, there, there is, there's a point they can become diesel type of women. In fact, uh, someone who gets into this a little bit deeper is Cousin Tito, and he did that in a recent uh, uh, video that he did. Link, the link is in the description box. I suggest you check that out. But and in fact, that video kind of inspired this one because he, he had like these two... Uh, Women up there on that level, right? Two women up there. And here was the interesting thing. The interesting thing, both of them were athletes. See, one thing people don't realize about the true 100 octanes, the women or even some of the diesel women, you know, the women who can be up there, who can effectively do that acculturated prostitution thing or sugar baby thing. One of the things that they're at that level is they kill her ass bodies. That's the thing. It's not even so much they got a pretty face. Shoot, you got some pretty face women out here, but their bodies are like, eh. you know, shoot, you got some pretty overweight women out here or some pretty women who don't have any curves. But you talking about the ones who got those killer bodies? One of the main things with them is... Well, their bodies, <laughs> they, you know what? They had to work for those bodies. You know, they ain't just pop up born that way. Those women work. If you really check in the background of Lyle's beautiful women, right? It's very, very extremely rare. They weren't active or in something. Extremely rare that they just popped up that way. In fact, I've yet to meet one. Let me just say that I've yet to meet one who had that tight body and wasn't a jock. In fact, when usually if I talk to women like that, I'll ask them straight up. I say, hey, what you, uh, what you play in school? Something like that. In fact, the one, I actually did meet one who had that real tight body, pretty, had that real tight body. She didn't really play anything, but she worked out like crazy. She worked out like crazy. Because I know at one of the gyms I go to, and uh, shout out Brother B out there, because you work out at that gym. One of the gyms I go to, I said, there's a bunch of women, at least with some tight bodies, and they're young girls. And they be, they, be, they be killing it. I still remember the time I was going to get on this squat thing, and this young girl was already there. As big as I am, she, shoot, she act like she's ready to cut me. But they be working out hard, right? They be working out hard. Now, what, how is that connected to the body game for men? Because a lot of guys think, okay, well, if I just get a bunch of money, I can get those women. Well, yeah, if you want to be seen as a trick or something. Because even um, even when those uh, masters of the universes or even ballers get those women, how, I mean, come on now, it's in the news now. How many of these women were cheating on these guys? Think about it. Think about it. We've had some high-profile uh, divorce filings high profile and we won't even get into the whole entanglement thing so it's like okay yeah they get them on that level but that's a surface thing who did they mess with behind closed doors you know the body game see understand something understand something yeah those women work out they got a tight body some of them get into like that acculturated prostitution but they still got sexual needs. And who are they going to want? You think they want, look, if you want to get that tight body woman, you need to have that tight body. Because at the gyms, whenever I see that tight body woman, because I work out at two gyms, 
I work out at two gyms, really got access, because since one of the gyms is a Planet Fitness, I got access to any of the Planet Fitnesses in the area. And then even when I'm just walking around out in the streets, whenever I see that tight body woman, her man always look like he work out. It has been extremely, it's been extremely rare in the real world. I seen one of those tight body women with a guy, with a guy don't look like he's doing the same thing. The only time I've seen that is like maybe a real pretty woman. Like I've seen some pretty women, but they don't look like they're really working out like that or something. Maybe with a guy, but even then he's going to be in a better shape, even if he don't look like he work out. Because I got a young friend, um, real pretty, real pretty. And she ain't really, well, she, she's a champion bike rider, so I don't know. I can't say she don't work out. But her guy is just, you know, he tall and uh, he's on the tall and slim side and look like he does some working out. So I ain't really, I ain't really seen like one of those tight body hundred octane or even if you want to use the term dime women with a guy who don't look like he worked out. And see, a lot of guys be thinking, well, if I just get the money for it and everything, but that, look, okay, yeah, you might get it, but that's just making you a trick. But when you look at who those women fuck, you look at who they be with on a normal basis or just... If you just just pay attention, that's why I always say go out. Find the mall in your area or something where it's known for having a lot of attractive women. Look at who they with. And I don't mean, I mean, and when I say attractive, like I said, if they if they don't really work out or something and just maybe on the slimmer side or something like that, the guys are being so so. Even the guys are being in decent shape. But I'm talking about the 100 octanes. I'm talking about those top ones. I'm talking about those women who can go on OnlyFans and make a lot of money. They got those tight bodies. They working out. Indeed, if, you, if you're on IG or something, there's a lot of women just doing workout uh, pics or, uh, you know, videos or something. And they got a large following. Who do you think these women want? You think they would you think these women going to spend 3 hours in the gym? They sweating. I mean, they be going hard. They be sprinting everything. They be working out, running everything. You think they want some guy who just sitting on the couch or sitting by, behind a computer all day? Seriously. You think they got a tight body? You think they would they you know flat ass stomach? They would want some uh you know out of shape dude crawling on top of them? Let's just be keeping 100. You think they want that? What would they get that for? And shoot, this woman might have that after all that work. And now she got that tight ass thing and she might, you know, trust me, her walls going to be nice and tight. And you think she wants some guy who not even enough shape to last three minutes? Shoot. Because trust me and trust me, they be checking. They be checking. A lot of times, even when they go to the gym, because even when you see them in the gyms, if they bring somebody with them, that guy look like he work out. That guy look like he work out. He, he hitting the gym, everything. He going just as hard. Sometimes they, and especially when they working out together, it never fails. I have, I have only time. No, I'm going to tell you what. Now that I think about it, I can think of one woman who got a tight body and her husband like really overweight and out of shape. But the thing is, she in her 50s. So I don't know what that dude looked like when he was younger. And she probably just hanging out with him still. But if you talk about who they going to be attracted to, who they prefer to be with, nah, they, they looking at that body. Now, like I said, you don't have to go for the body game. You know, you don't have to do that. You don't have to. Nah, but yeah, because there's plenty, there's plenty of sixes out there. There's plenty of sixes whose bodies will be so-so. And you're perfectly all right to get it. But if you want that tight-bodied woman, you got to get into the body game. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for today. Peace and blessings.